you want to know one of the biggest scalping secrets, the trick that dramatically increases the probability of a winning trade? Before understanding this hidden scalping key, trying to scalp the market will feel hard and your results will likely be inconsistent. But understanding and applying this one key technique can change your scalping results. That's how powerful it is. So if you've always wanted to know how to scalp the market, this video was made for you. Please pay close attention and take notes on this one. It's a special training session for you. When I first learned about scalping, when I would think, oh, I can just make a scalp trade here and a scalp trade there, I started tagging all my scalp trades. I would look through my trader view stats at the end of the month and notice that I wasn't really making any money scalping. I was taking a lot of scalp trades, but I was either flat or some months a little bit down. I was just taking too many trades. I was really calling them scalps, but they really were just guesses and oftentimes actually kind of sloppy guesses. I felt the pain of seeing my good trading just eaten up by these guesses, these, these scalp trades. I felt the frustration of losing that consistency in my trading results that I was working so hard to achieve. I felt the disappointment that came with feeling just out of sync with the opportunities generated by the market. The frustration was not just me. It was happening with a couple other traders on the desk around me as well. So we worked together to create a system for looking at trading opportunities. One that's most effective when applied to scalps. It's a specific system utilizing simple but incredibly effective steps that when followed create a highway to consistent results and take scalping from being hard, from feeling like I'm chasing things too often and hoping they work, to letting it be obvious and letting them fall into my lap. Here's my quick system for scalping. You find a stock in play. A stock in play, according to our definition, is a stock with a fresh news catalyst, an eight plus higher time frame technical level, elevated RVOL, we kind of look for three plus RVOL. These are just stocks that will be liquid. You can get in and out of them uh, without too much slippage. And typically it'll move away from price which is super important because when you're right, you can make a nice chunk of money relative to your risk very quickly. Second, we define a setup. This is a simple concept, but we respect that the setup can significantly impact the probability of any trade working and working well. Examples of setups can be range, uh, big dog consolidation, uh, day two, changing fundamentals, trend, trend trade, breaking news trade, either positive or negative. But be sure you have a setup. On our desk, we've started practicing catalyst, setup, trade. And this applies even to scalps. So you have to make sure there's a setup there that you're working with. Third, we really clearly identify the quality of the intraday levels. We've started scaling levels on a scale of zero, meaning not significant at all, to 10, meaning incredibly significant. For my scalping, unless it's a seven out of 10, I, I'm really not paying attention to it. A seven out of 10, I start to focus on the importance of that level. You know, seven out of 10 can mean a lot of different things and we hope to get further into that later. But for now, even just scaling them keeps me accountable to myself and the, those that I trade with to make sure that I'm not taking a scalp off of a four out of 10 importance level or, or trying to overvalue price action at a five out of 10 importance level. If I'm thinking, is this a seven, eight, nine, or 10? that keeps me in the right place and allows me to really focus on the price action around those levels. Number four, I'm letting a moment happen where a stock should have broken out or does break out, but not in the right way and then doesn't hold a breakout. When I say breakout, I mean maybe either a break above the price action or the range that it's trading in or even a break below the range that it's trading in. I'm not predicting this breakout particularly in range break trades, I'm actually just observing the price action and knowing since I'm taking a scalp, if it breaks out of that range, I can probably find my way into the trade later. But I'm really letting a moment happen where it should have broken out. This provides a trigger and provides the liquidity needed for me to manage my risk. 
When I say trigger, I'll tell you exactly what I mean. I'm observing the price action when it tries to break out. I'm observing if it fails. If the price action fails, it should have broken out. I assume and I believe that I wasn't the only trader thinking this probably should have broken out. In fact, there were probably other participants in the market, whether longer time frame or even potentially shorter time frame, who were involved in that breakout, who were involved in pressing that price up into a resistance area where it really should have just gone. All those traders are instantly in a tough spot. And I get to sit there and just think, okay, what's going to happen next? What happens next in the fifth step is I take the trade in the other direction when you see it. So for a scalp, I need to see that moment where it really kind of should have gone the other way, but it didn't. And then I can take and wait for that trigger to come in the other direction and take that trade. Right now, I challenge you to pull up an example of a trade you have made recently, or even a trade you, you kind of wish you made, and we can walk through this system so you can specifically rehearse these steps and practice putting them in action. By the way, if you want to learn the top trading setups we use on the desk, click the link appearing right now to sign up for our free trading workshop. Now back to the video. Here's an example I've got from yesterday. Now, I didn't make this trade. I had traded this symbol earlier in the day and really wish I would have made this trade. But I always like to review the best opportunities of the day, so that's what we're going to do here today. First, we're finding a stock in play. This was a stock with, with a fresh earnings day one catalyst. We're defining a setup. On a higher time frame, this stock looked like maybe it was a gap and go. It gapped, it tried to go, and it failed hard. In fact, it broke above a range and failed. So then I'm thinking, okay, potentially it could trade to the other end of the range on the daily chart. So I'm defining a setup as a failed breakout in this circumstance. On top of that, this occurred Wednesday afternoon. So this occurred after a Fed meeting where we actually had a bit of a switch from a potentially bullish outcome from the Federal Reserve statement and the press conference to a bearish outcome. So I actually had the idea of potentially this is a failed breakout trade with a negative breaking news trade in the market supporting it. I identified the quality of the levels. In this case, we're looking at that 60 level, kind of right at the base of this consolidation. You know, to me, that's like an eight out of 10. It's a psychological level. It was an important level from previously. You can see how much the price action intraday was bought right at that level multiple times. So I'm watching as this range develops. Again, I had two negative setups with the negative breaking news and the failed breakout. So I'm not really considering, is this gonna be a long hair? All I'm thinking of is if this breaks to the downside, how am I going to get involved? What setup was super interesting for me, I let the moment happen where it should have broken out. You can see on that arrow right there, it really did break out. It looks like, okay, maybe this is actually just gonna grind higher through the afternoon. But really quickly, it did not hold that breakout. All that did was provide me with a trigger and it provided me the liquidity needed to manage my risk. Because I know as a trader, if I just bought that breakout looking for it to go higher and I, un I wasn't disciplined and took my stop immediately as soon as it failed, if it gets back up there, I'm probably gonna wanna sell because I'll just feel great that I, at least I'm not losing money in this trade. So I'm thinking about that from a short perspective where I actually have liquidity there because I believe there will be some sellers there if the price comes back up to that level because they were trapped, because they got stuck in that trade. So I'm not only thinking, okay, this might have a probability of breaking lower, but I'm protecting my risk because I understand that even if it does go back up, I likely will have some liquidity to be able to get out. Then I'm just sitting there and letting myself see it. I would be really late to this trade. I would let the price action break the lows. I would let the price action consolidate below the lows, confirming the breakout to the downside. And then I would really go after it. And I would be thinking, this is a high probability scalp, not necessarily because of the level that it broke or the price action before it, or even the setup. It's a high probability scalp because I allowed something that should have happened to try and happen and then fail. And that not only provides me with a really high quality opportunity, 
It provides me with the liquidity to manage my risk if needed. And it also provides me with a really good setup for a really nice risk reward trade. So let's quickly review the steps of this system. One, find a stock that's in play. Two, define a setup. Three, identify the quality of the levels around the price action that it's trading. Four, let a moment happen where it should break in one direction, but it doesn't. Five, take the trade in the other direction when you see it. I felt like this was a lot when I started doing this, especially just for a scalp. It seemed like so much work, but every time I practiced this, every time I got a good, high quality rep with this system, I took a step forward from being a trader to being a good trader. And taking a scalp from being this frustrating and difficult experience to letting the opportunities just fall into my lap and then the entry just hit me between the eyes. So you're an active trader not doing as well as you want, not doing as well as you deserve, and you just can't figure out why you can't become profitable no matter how hard you try. Well, let me show you why. This is your competition, the traders in this room. This room right here is full of elite traders, some of whom are making seven and even eight figures a year. In fact, our top guys have made nearly 20 million each in net trading profits in a single year. Let's head to my office so I can share more. So you're probably used to seeing videos of lavish trader lifestyles, trading gurus, trading off of a laptop for an hour a day, heck, maybe even 15 minutes a day, and then them relaxing on some secluded beach for the rest of the day. Well, all I can tell you is that our traders train like pro athletes. They live and breathe the markets and are continually working on their trading skills. Because at our firm, that's what we found it really takes to make it in this game. I'm Mike Bellafieri, co-founder and managing partner of SMB Capital, one of the world's top proprietary trading firms located in Midtown Manhattan. And we're always looking for trading talent to hire and develop. And not just to trade in-house on our desk, but also to trade from their own home, entirely using our firm's capital. And we have numerous traders doing just that allowing them to make upwards of seven figures trading the firm's capital without risking their own money. But to even get a shot at something like that, you need to have the right training. That's why we're doing a new free online presentation in which we share how you can get an interview with SMB to become an in-house or remote trader, trading firm capital without risking yours and getting access to all of our firm's coaching and resources. And the best part? You don't have to be a profitable trader yet. In fact, we prefer to mold profitable traders with our methods and our techniques. That's why we have just three simple criteria that can earn anyone an interview. We're looking for highly ambitious and determined traders who fit our culture first and foremost. So if you believe that could be you, sign up for the free one hour online presentation by clicking the link that's in your top right corner of your screen now.